Ask credit by Eureka that's it. How is your if we are single by 30, we're getting married friend doing? Had a married at 40 option. Lost contact with her for a few years and had started to rebuild our friendship. She'd got married and moved away, but was in the process of splitting up and remembering her old life. Had arranged to go and see her in her new flat, big night out planned. But then contact suddenly stopped again. Found out about 6 months later that she'd had a car crash and died instantly. Her, still, husband hadn't told any of her old friends what had happened. She was the first one from our friend group that had died. It hit hard. Still think of her often and the mischief we got up to in our late teens. My smile reading these other comments dropped immediately. This is so upsetting. My condolences. Not me, but I have a former co-worker that made that pact with his senior high school prom date. Lost touch for 7 or so years. Reconnected at the 10 year high school reunion. Got married 2 years later. Now to kids with a third on the way and very happy. It was cool to watch the majority of that story go down. I have no pact in place but I'm still gonna be equally as hopeful at my 10 year lol. She got married years ago. We were both in relationships at 30. He has like 5-6 kids. He actually hit me up when we were 30, were 32 now, and asked about the deal. I was like dude don't you have like 5 kids I was not gonna take on that circus. It's a marriage pact not a free nanny pact. We made the pact at 15 as a joke. We finished high school, college and moved into early adulthood while he dated other people. I was single until 23 when I met my match who I'm still with to this day. This year he broke up with his girlfriend because he said he loved me and couldn't be friends anymore because it was too hard for him. It sucks but I wish him the best. But he had a 7 year window and really missed his chance. I married her sister. I never wanted to marry her, she was my friend and she thought of the if we aren't married by 30, thing. Heartbreaker she can never forget lol. I've made that pact with so many people that I hope no one comes to make claims when I turn 30. So about our pact. We both got married before 30 to other people. She married a cool dude and had 4 kids. They had a beautiful family and so do I I was genuinely happy for her and glad we didn't end up with each other. She died of cancer a few years ago when her youngest kid was still in elementary school. My heart breaks for her and her family. I feel closer to them than they realize because I knew her since middle school. I think of them often and hope they are finding peace and happiness in this crazy life. I lost contact with mine. Hadn't talked to her in over 20 years but same deal. She married a pretty cool dude had 3 kids and just an awesome family. Last I heard she lost one of her children at around 13. I felt feel absolutely awful for her and her family. I also feel like a pose because I never reached out to her. Edit you'll have convinced me that there's now better time than now so I'm gonna hunt her down. I'm pretty sure I might know someone who has her number. I don't do Facebook but I'll look on Instagram. It's been too long and she was my one and only female best friend since middle school. Y'all I'm gonna do it. Already know how it's going to go too. Wonderfully. He's unhappily married to someone else. Spends all his time gardening now. So uh, how's the garden? With us it was if we are still single at 65 let's just move in together at least we like each other. We met first year at university and had been close friends ever since. She died of breast cancer at 63. Miss her every day. I lost mine as well. We met during high school. I went to her funeral this year. She was only 27. Sorry for your loss friend. I kissed her this morning when I was leaving for work, we get married in 3 days. No joke, made the pact, reconnected in person after a few years on my 31st birthday which is 3 days before her 30th, 
We went out for a date and we haven't spent a night apart since. And in 3 days we say the all I do's. Edit, obligatory wow, this blow up. Thank you all for the kind words and the awards, I'm going to show my fiancé this later after work, she'll love it. Wedding is in 2 days, the 18th of August. This is sickeningly adorable. He's my soon to be ex-husband, lol. Oh yikes, hopefully it's a pleasant divorce. She's been living a wild life. We made the pact at 22, she got married by 24, divorced by 25, new relationship and got pregnant at 26, married at 28 and divorced at 30. In that time she dropped out of college, went back to college, completed her associates, got nailed for a few drug charges and is currently fighting for custody of her kid with the dad. So when's the wedding? His wife has banned him from speaking to me. Ouch. She's a single mom now so I'm getting ready to strap my stepdad boots on here shortly. Hey man. Sometimes stepdads are the most important dads. I'm marrying him in November. Well, marrying him to another woman. I'm their efficient, D. So when he said I want you to marry me it didn't mean what it sounded like. She's married to my good friend. But things are rocky. I just got divorced so maybe we'll revisit this in our 40s? Just kidding. Edit. Thanks for the love. I actually just saw my good friend last week. That's when he shared they had discussed the D word and that he cheated on her once. I said if he wanted to keep her, don't ever tell her about that and don't do it again. Also, he may want to cut down on drinking. She's also a good friend of mine so I know that's one of her gripes. I really don't want them to split because I'm so proud of them. They are former heroin addicts that sucks a flea kicked addiction and they have two kids. Unless. I just talked to them the other day. We're both over 30 and still both unmarried. And. She told me that 5 years ago. I said, why not just try dating now? We did. We're married now, dy wait. This man hacked the system. I do actually have a friend who did this. They reconnected after not seeing each other for a good while. They laughed and reminisced about their funny agreement to get married at 30 if they hadn't met someone else. They did get married pretty quick and were happy, for about a year. Then they spent a couple more years miserable together. Things got very bad and he ended up divorcing her. He's now happily married to someone who seems to be much better for him. I think this is one of the issues of aiming for marriage as an end goal rather than a relationship worthy of marriage. He's in San Diego, living his best gay life. He's gonna go out jacking it in San Diego. I have a friend who says this to me every once in a while. I'd have no problem with that except she makes it sound like she'd be miserable if she had to end up with me so no thanks. You keep dating horrible men and I'll watch from the sideline if I have time. Keep working on those farts in the meantime. I got married, then he got married right before my divorce. I remarried years later, right before his divorce. You guys are totally gonna get married to each other in another couple rotations. Overcovered I saw her profile pop up on my switch. So I reached out to her and started catching up for the first time since I moved away for college. One thing lead to another, I asked her if she'd like to move up the timeline on our promise, and we plan to get married next fall at the nice young age of 26. I can't tell if the nice young age of 26 is sarcasm or not mayo but that is young. Not me but my mom's if we're still single 20 years from now friend lives right down the street from her and every time she sees him she hides, so let's say it's not going well. He's married to a gorgeous woman with two of the cutest babies I've ever seen. He's a white man and was racist af in high school, something my hormonal ass was willing to overlook, 
but now he owns a gym with his best friend who is black, and his wife is Asian. Dude turned around and achieved his dreams in the best way imaginable. Killer combo. Live in his best life. And I'm in a long term relationship myself, so we are both out here just killing it. The redemption arc. Turns out we are both gay, so not happening. Get married, do your own things, save on taxes. Government hates this one trick. Unless one of you are already married, then congrats. We were making plans to meet up when she finished her stint in the Peace Corp, and then was murdered a few days before leaving the county she was helping in. Sorry for your loss. He's upstairs, I'm downstairs. We didn't get married but we did buy a house together, platonic like. So what's holding you back from having a relationship then? I mean you can co-live peacefully right? That's already 50% of a marriage. Deleted. Dang, sounds like you both really didn't want to marry each other. My current BF told me that in high school when we were just friends that we're best friends and if I don't find a wife by 30, we're getting married. We decided just to date each other 6 months later. It's been 7 years now together. We're dating and happy as could be. We're almost 30 now though so we're going to have to break up to honor our marriage pact. Just say I don't this is working out in unison. Wait 5 minutes. Then get back together with hey I saw you standing there and liked your vibe. She got married, moved away, got divorced and moved back. We've been dating a few weeks. He won an Emmy last year. I have many conflicted feelings. Um excuse me but you can't just say that. Details PLS. He's driving. We are pulling our camper. Our 9 year old is in the backseat. We just finished a 4 night camping trip with his younger brother and his fiancé. Also or if we're single, couple. They have 2 girls, 2 and 4. We are all still excellent friends. My Bill and his fiancé dated right after high school. My husband and I didn't hook up until 2 days before we eloped. Married 11 years yesterday. Friends since 94. We didn't last long got married at 25. Still going strong. Made the deal at 23. Married at 25. Going on 13 years together. Been married 16 years. Together for 20. Longest 4 days away from him after we made the pact to meet in Paris. Still haven't been to Paris but I have the love of my life. This needs more subjects. Who what where now? Our number was 40. She has been married for 8 years or so. Pretty sure it's a solid marriage. I came to learn I wasn't the only one she made that promise to. I thought it was funny. When I confronted her she just said I had to be safe and we laughed. He got arrested for sexually assaulting a minor. We don't talk anymore. He's fabulously gay. I am a woman. Should be interesting. Ours was 35 actually. She lives a few states away. She lives with her ex-boyfriend, because her current boyfriend still lives with his mom. She has an animal addiction. She can't say no when someone wants to sell her a living creature. She has dogs, cats, rats, snakes, sugar gliders, fish and other random stuff to round out her zoo. She can't work because of her anxiety, except she totally had a job for like 6 years, but complained through that whole time that she couldn't work. She wants to go on disability, but just thought she could go in and get on it by filing some paperwork and that was it. She doesn't trust doctors, so she has no documented proof of all of her ailments. She is broke, the ex and the current boyfriend pay all of her bills. She sits at home and takes care of all these pets all day, and is generally a drain on society. But she complains about always being broke. So in other words I dodged a fucking bullet. So she's an energy vampire. Got it. 
we decided on age 50. He's married with one kid, and another coming. I'm a little bummed, since I was really counting on his health insurance. We're still besties. Not quite the same but I know a guy that in his late 20s realized he was ready to get married. Hadn't had a girlfriend in years, but he recalled a friend he had in his late teens, maybe early 20s. Anyways he thought wow, this girl could potentially be a great wife and started thinking about her in a different light than he had in the past. Anyway he decides to write her a letter and said something to the effect of. Hey. This might seem odd but I was recently thinking through life and feel like I'm at a point that I would like to get married. When I started thinking about women that I thought would be great to be married to, you were the first to come to mind. If you are interested in reconnecting let me know, if not, no worries at all. I apologize if this is uncomfortable or too straightforward. She was very flattered and they started dating shortly after followed up by marriage within a year. IDK if this counts but my parents were close friends in HS. Both went their separate ways in life but kept in touch. When my mom had the chance to adopt me, my dad was a recent widow. He ended up going with my mom to see me for the first time, backing her to adopt me. And 25 years later they are still together and the best parents friends ever. She became a member of Parliament, and we both met far more suitable partners. Met my wife in 9th grade Spanish class. Walked her to her locker every day. Father gets arrested, I move away. She somehow gets contact info for me from a mutual friend and we keep in touch over the years. Married at 20, 13 years in November. We have 4 kids and life is, pretty sweet. Settled down in the same school district that we met in. Someday our kids may be in that same classroom. She's my best friend. She married someone else. This sentence without the context is a tragic short story. She's been married longer than me 33 plus years for her, 31 plus years for me. We made the pact young, but we both married others before we turned 30. Sitting next to me in bed. My wife will be livid when she finds out. I've got questions. Wait. Yeah you guys have one? Where's mine? Hey so if you're 30 and single by the time I'm 30 and still single, wanna get married?